Hey guys, it's Marla. Welcome back. This is the energy update for December 3rd through 9th. Before I get started on the energy, I just want to remind you guys that this is the last week to sign up for our Twin Flames Together online workshop, which is Sunday, December 9th from 1 to 5 Eastern Standard Time. Now, if you can't make that actual time or if you can only make part of it, that's okay because you will get a recording of the workshop. And um, actually, Dio is not going to be able to make it, but I want to let you know what we're going to be talking about. So I'm going to be speaking about the evolution of astrology. Debbie is going to be talking about how to clear your mental and emotional energy. She's really good at that. Rob and Angie are going to be talking about how you can embody the union energy within yourself and with another. And uh, Kelly McKinstry, some of you don't know Kelly, but she's wonderful. She's been on the journey for a while, and she is a same-sex twin flame. So she's going to be talking a little bit about that, and she's also going to be talking about karmic relationships. She has a, a good, little bit different take on karmic relationships. In addition, Angie's going to be doing a manifestation exercise, sorry. And I'm going to be doing the opening meditation, a grounding meditation. So I know a lot of people have asked me, like, if I would do meditations. Maybe at some point I will, but if you're one of those people... I will be doing the meditation for the workshop. And then there'll be question and answer period as well. So if you're new to the journey um, or you have a burning question, it might be good to come in and ask it. Sometimes it can be hard to find answers on the internet or a lot of times people are afraid that someone's going to see their question or someone's going to you know, find out that they're on a twin flame journey. So this is some place where you can ask questions that is a little bit more private. So if you want to join us, I will put a link to that in the comments. You can also message me on Facebook or through my website as well if you need the link. Again, that's going to be December 9th. If you just want to have a reading with me as well, my, my website is twinstrology.com. Okay, so let's talk about the energy. So we have the new moon coming up, the new moon in Sagittarius. This is happening on December 7th. And this is closing the portal that opened on May 29th when we had the Sagittarius full moon. There was a lot of energy coming in in the springtime of awakening. And I know that you guys are experiencing that not just in the Twin Flame community, but in the wider community, many people are awakening because throughout these past six months, we've all been having our third eye expanded. And we've been clearing also a lot of karma connected to our authenticity, authority figures, and things that make us feel restricted. So what I'm being shown is kind of the things that we've been working on the last six months are coming to a close and we're moving on to a new cycle. One of those things is pertaining to our union energies. We're letting go of a lot of feelings of unrequited love or feeling unworthy of love. I'm kind of putting this energy under this blanket statement of forbidden love. Some of the karma that many of you are dealing with has to do with the idea that we feel that our love is forbidden because we've had so many lifetimes where we couldn't be together. We've had arranged marriages. We've been affected by different class systems or other societal templates or things from religious or authority figures that have kept us apart. This is created within the masculine and feminine a feeling of fear around this love. 
um, because in the past, as I said, it, it was forbidden. So there's something about that energy that's currently um, coming out within our energy fields. This is especially important to clear for the divine masculine. The divine masculine are going through a big shift, and I'll get to them in a minute. But, I mean, it's within the divine feminine as well because it's something that's being mirrored. So look at the kind of karmic things that are coming up for you. When we can get a handle on that energy and we can clear it out, it's really opening up our ability to manifest and shift these timelines. Because when we get rid of that energy, we're getting deeper into that energy of union, um, the energy of no separation that we've been trying so valiantly to shift into all year. But I am being shown that in a lot of areas where we felt stuck, we're getting ready to shift that. But, you know, what's key here is opening up our hearts and opening up our energy fields. That's why they're saying if we still have this feeling of unrequited love or forbidden love, it puts a, a wall up, a defensiveness in our energy field that makes it hard to manifest those new timelines. Now, for the Divine Feminine, your focus right now is healing the wound of separation and coming into your heart in unconditional love. You want to try as much as possible to open up your energy field. For a lot of you, this relates to being able to receive love. So you want to take a look in your life of where you have those walls and defensiveness. Now, if you've been on this journey for a long time, these can be very small, subtle things. And I've been talking a bit about soulmates showing up for some of us. Now these soulmates don't have to be like some kind of long-term relationship. These soulmates can be someone that you, you know, you meet once or someone that you have one or two conversations with. But these soulmates are coming in to help you see um, the things that you can't, where where these walls and defensive things are, where you're still needing to heal, especially for the feminine, where you're needing to heal around the masculine energy and where you still feel uncomfortable or have some kind of defensiveness or you're just not open energetically because we want to be fully open in our heart center because the energies coming in are moving through the divine feminine. You're becoming a channel for this energy grounding this energy and this is how you are bringing in your manifestation power now as i said the divine masculine are going through a major shift this month is going to be pivotal bleh, pivotal for the development of the divine masculine and what i'm seeing is that the divine masculine are going deeper into their awakening and i know a lot of you guys are going to say well, that's no big deal. They've been doing that. Yes, I know. But remember, awakening is a process. Well, there are people that spontaneously awaken to uh, you know, a huge shift in consciousness. Most people have to go through a process. Right? The Divine Feminine is going through this process for a very long time. So we have to give the masculine time to heal this. I'm being shown that Yule is going to be a key date once again, 1221. It's 1221, 1111 this year, twos and ones. Twos and ones represent releasing karma and changing perceptions. So this is where the key shift is gonna be happening in the divine masculine energy. As I said, we gotta release this karma about forbidden love this is key to shifting the masculine and helping the masculine open their heart. It has to do with this energy of being a knight, being a savior, and um, <clears throat> feeling like they have to, uh, how do I want to say it? 
they haven't been sure how to shift out of that old energy of, of what I call like being a knight. And it's okay to be a knight, to, to be chivalrous, to have honor. But sometimes that honor gets misplaced. And that's what it is. I, I wrote a poem that came channeled through me today that kind of expresses the energy that's on my website. But so Yule 12-21-11 sees the Divine Masculine taking another turn in their awakening. They're going up another level in their consciousness because we as a collective masculine and feminine are healing this um, this karma and at the new moon in Sagittarius asteroid karma is going to be conjunct Saturn on the eighth degree of Capricorn Sabian symbol for that degree is an angel comes carrying a harp so even though we're dealing with the asteroids karma and Saturn, which is the planet of karma. The Sabian is letting us know that it's really some good karma that's at play here and that the angels are supporting us. Remember um, at the full moon, or no, it was last week. I forget what planet it was, but they were on the Sabian symbol about the angel. Oh, it was Venus, a man in deep gloom. Um, unseen an angel is coming to their aid so we've had a lot of support from the angels so sorry getting back to the divine masculine um they're seeing illusion for what it is now and you know as they turn as they get stronger in their awakening at this yule tide at the winter solstice they're seeing clearer and clearer the illusions that they've been under. And what I mean by that is they thought that they were doing the right thing and maybe they're seeing a different way of looking at that. So where they're seeing like maybe they needed to take a different route. They're letting their defenses down more. Vine masculine's been really struggling. They've been having a lot of pressure put on them recently they've had that done for a reason because this is helping the divine masculine see the karmic pattern that they're clearing which is powerlessness this is one of the things that stopped them from many of them because some have been able to move on but most of the divine masculine collective has not been able to move on because their higher self has been waiting for the collective energy to reach a tipping point. And that tipping point will be happening this winter. So powerlessness and their fears. Um, they've been getting pressure because the universe really wants them to feel, see, understand that the powerlessness that they feel, the fears that they've been going through have been an illusion. And so over the next three months, the Divine Masculine is working on removing those illusions from their eyes and seeing that they're a lot stronger than they have been. This is gonna allow them to open up their hearts, to soften, to get more in the Divine Feminine energy and to heal those past lives of forbidden love. In addition, you're going to start to see the Divine Masculine start to experiment is the word that they're telling me. So you're going to see the Divine Masculine start branching out a little bit, testing the waters with things. You may see your Divine Masculine speaking out more. You may see your Divine Masculine making changes. Some of you may see your Divine Masculine open up to you more. Um, some of you, if you haven't had communication with your masculine for a while, they're going to start taking small steps towards communicating with you. Again, some have. Just depends on um, your particular situation and the karma that you're dealing with. So they're going to be experimenting, trying new things out because that's part of 
them opening up their hearts is, you know, for a long time, they've been closed down and the energy has been such that they've been kind of very withdrawn and in on themselves. And now the energy is allowing their heart to open once again. This is bringing in the passion, the creativity, not just in love, but like more of a passion for life and wanting to get back into that feeling of passion and excitement in all areas of their life. I'm also seeing for the Divine Masculine that um, the winter solstice and the several months after that are going to have them begin to see some changes in two very important areas that we've all been waiting for. The first one has to do with their financial situations. Um, as many of you are aware, a lot of the Divine Masculine have been stuck. They haven't been able to create abundance in their life. Or they haven't been able to create the work situation that they want. And, and think about it, especially a lot of the masculine energy are male. And for males, how much money they make, what their career is, etc., has played such an important role. And they've been breaking a lot of templates around that. So a lot of them have been working diligently trying to fix this abundance. This is so tied to the feminine, right? And it's part of what we're healing, as I said, because we're getting rid of that fear of letting love in. The feminine is opening her energy up to receiving all types of abundance, all types of connections, just opening into unconditional love and creativity. So as the feminine does this, this is shifting things within the masculine. So these areas, has they opened their heart more? Has they strip away the illusions? And if you're a divine masculine, like this is going to be key for you. Work on this area of your life and where you've been holding yourself back because we're going to start seeing these things start to shift around. The, the jobs are coming. The financial abundance is coming. And this is leading to... Um, what I'm being shown is the healing of the families. I've talked about it in the past, how many of the Divine Masculine have been feeling a little bit stuck in their situation or they haven't known how to, sorry about that, get out of their situation. Especially if they have children and the karma that we're shifting now, this energy around forbidden love, has something to do with helping the Divine Masculine shift out of how they've been stuck in the karmic relationships, especially if they have children. The universe is starting to show them, or will start to show them this winter, the way forward how they can manifest and have everything that they want where they don't have to um, uh, they can create this for example separation if they need to separate from a karmic they can create this with balance and love and they can create a mutual understanding for everybody. They can create arrangements that makes everyone happy. This is part of you know, these shifting timelines and being able to manifest our desires. The more karma we can clear, the more positive experience that we have. And it's all based on forgiveness. Forgiveness, being in love, being in our hearts, and releasing attachment. So yeah, some big changes are going to start coming down for the masculine where they are being shown what to do. They're being guided in the direction that they need to take. It's what they've been waiting for to break free. So all of the three retrogrades have really helped us with this and this cross. The 
the cross that's been going on. It's, and the T-square with Uranus is still going to be happening, even, Venus, even though Venus is going to be moving out. So thank you so much, guys. I hope that this channeled message resonated with you. And um, I'm sending you all a lot of love. Have a happy new moon. I love you and I'll speak to you soon.